All right. What of us Welcome back to Nairobi and to reality. Uh, this is the second half of the year. I don't know what kind of fun you had. If you went there, by the way, to Naivasha past weekend, I didn't. Uh, but if you did, tell us how it went. I'm sitting with one of those attendees. I'm a figure safely, so it's possible to actually go and come back safe because uh, apparently the craze there uh, doesn't feel like anyone might make it back. But come on, Rudy, tell us what you, um, you know, experienced. How was the experience as well for the guys who went for the second time? I have missed this for the second time because I, I think it returned. La it, it did return last year, 2021. This is the second year um, after our hiatus. I hear since 2002, and Captain Manu is here to put into perspective some of those uh, issues that are rising. Of course, especially on the economic front from WRC, the 2022. I think the sixth, uh, the sixth series, right, of 2022. Welcome back, Captain Manu. Thank you. Thank you so much, Manze. Nilikuwa na lala, because I still haven't gotten over the hangover. Nani Tuesday, so I can imagine how the others feel like. Whoa, Guys, it's, it's, it should be broke. The last day was uh, on Sunday. Yeah, last day Sunday. But then when you travel on Sunday, no, nilikuwa na hurumia, because the jam yama fans. It looks like a parking lot. Oh my God. I, the, 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 the amount of cars that were there, ridiculous. Guys have money, by the way, because I mm -hmm. saw cars that came out this year, like the Range Rover 2022. Mm -hmm. Already it's in Nairobi streets driving the Ford Mustang. Ford. Yo. Oh, man. They it, had amazing. What? So, Pesa Iko. Pesa Iko. <laughs> There's money. And, and that's what I told you on Friday. Me, I don't have money to go. But Saturday, <laughs> Pesa Iko. I just had to Iko. So How's was it? Was it? I know it was super exciting from what I'm seeing online. Yeah. Uh, the images, mm -hmm. uh, you know, the people cheering. How was it, like, the atmosphere, generally? So, guys were basically really excited. Of course, um, Kenyans love speed, love cars, anything sporty, mm -hmm. what I jump on. But what made it even more interesting is the fact that we saw Uga Kwanza Ugandans. Mm -hmm. Ugandans were little killers So, mm -hmm. and I'm very sure when you go over the videos, you'll be able to see Ugandan flags waving and, you know, fans just really getting into it. So, it was a really good time for the fans. As a car yeah. enthusiast, of course, mm. let's begin with cars. Yeah. Um, what cars were participating? I know there was Hyundai, there was Toyota. Yes, um, so there were three cars, three manufacturers that were available on that. Actually, four. Mm -hmm. um, actually, five. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry, but the major ones were Toyota, mm -hmm. uh, Hyundai, and Ford. Mm -hmm. Those were the main manufacturers that were there. Mm -hmm. When you only let us out, now the, now the manufacturers. Mm -hmm. Now the other less, uh, the other cars that were there, however, the manufacturers didn't bring them. They brought their own cars. Yeah, yeah. They, okay. they just decided to pick that car and then come and race with it. Okay. Skoda, Citroen, and Subaru Mitsubishi. How do you say you are independent of the manufacturer? Let's begin there. Mm. Is it expensive to participate yeah, uh, for the teams, getting a car, getting a team that is helping you? Uh, if you get, if you do get a manufacturer behind you, they can spec up the car to almost um, six million, which six to twelve million, just to spec it up for oh. rally, and it can be quite expensive. Mm. You can imagine. I was telling you earlier, they actually brought in two thousand. Tires, tires from Pirelli. That's crazy. Yeah, two thousand tires. That's all. And one tire can cost upwards of one hundred and fifty k. So you can chop your math on how Ooh, much. one fifty k times. Mm. And that's just like uh, an, an upwards mm. of one fifty k. But they were rightfully so because Safari Rally was brutal. Okay. And, and I'm telling you, it was brutal because tires were popping left, right, and center. And that happened because we saw. Um, it was a really bad day for Hyundai and mm -hmm. Ford. Mm -hmm. What happened? Safari Rally. Guys were just having um, reliability issues, issues with uh, rolling, like gas green mm -hmm. with the Hyundai. Uh, we saw uh, Sebastian Loeb, who was coming after, uh, he's a nine-time rally champion, mm -hmm. Nalikua in the old safari. But when he came to race, he was stuck in, or, or rather the, the, the dustier fresh fresh, they mm -hmm. call it the fresh fresh. Mm -hmm. the, um, the so is block the the it called fresh fresh? Fresh fresh. <laughs> fresh fresh is like this fine sand. Oh, okay. But now it's thick, almost a feet deep. Uh, so it's, oh, places. it can so, uh, create. Yeah, clog up the okay. cooling systems and then it causes it to overheat. So you can be able to imagine if, 
for some reason it did not plague the Toyota team. Mm -hmm. All the other teams had issues with the heating, with the tires, with the cooling, but for uh, not for some reason, we all know Toyotas are really good mm. when it comes to making cars for the African continent. Mm. And that's why they had a relatively better day than Hyundai and Ford. Maxine. Mm -hmm. So Maxine was unbelievable. She's did, the you, first, did you watch her? Yeah. She's the first woman in WRC1 mm -hmm. for more than 15 years who... Um, Aliza could compete against even male mm -hmm. and dominated mm -hmm. being number one in that that's, category that's a crazy feat to achieve WRC one. Mm. Mm. So now she, Which, she came in third. Yeah, that's right. awesome. That is good because Ali Ibisha, all the other men that will <laughs> come church who have actually Colin. won in Portugal, just stay in Italy. I'm telling in, in Colin McRae, the guy will go to the church. Mm. The, the Kenyan, uh, Ali Kwa third last boss. Whoa, Ali Chapman. <laughs> Which, which is important. okay, but which is, which is important to motivate yeah. all of us, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, <laughs> massacre. <laughs> <laughs> uh, in Awezekana. Yeah. So <laughs> now, in terms of the economy, mm -hmm. um, a lot of industries. Last year, it was four billion. Mm. I don't know. Whether, I don't think the government has released official numbers Not yet. Not yet, but it should be upwards of six billion. You think so? Yes. How did you see the environment? I hear there were 12 vendors to every 10 attendees. And still more because the Koroga festival was just amazing. Oh, yeah, that yeah, was also there. there. Are so many other two small, small events, but the major event that was sanctioned by the Safari Rally Kenya mm. was Koroga Festival. And I think mm. they did an amazing job because mm -hmm. it was just spectacular. Creative performances mm -hmm. there as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, a lot of money being made through the vendors. Oh, yeah, and Piata. Piata the Red Light District. Yeah, yeah. Those guys had a hard time. <laughs> they had to come up with ways on reducing the friction between them and the clients because goddamn there was a shortage there was of, a shortage uh, of uh, grease yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah there's a there's a shortage of uh, um i'm trying to look for a soft word for morning television let's call them cds for, oh, yeah. for lack of a better all right there was a shortage of cds yeah. um and case all know. sizes but you know you know <laughs> they, they just couldn't do it because you know yeah 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 so, so there was no. economy um mm. that is uh, being boosted through vendors mm. hotels were yeah. overbooked i hear oh almost when i was trying to look for any accommodation. accommodation last week part one the cheapest i could get that wasn't booked was 18k per night whoa that's what? how much 18k per night. Air per night the guys who actually were killing it were guys who were airbnb because mm -hmm. those guys had all of them booked in naivasha all the way to nakuru mm -hmm. so you can imagine guys even on a daily basis they will rather from to nakuru to naivasha, naivasha. Yeah. okay so it was a really good day for guys in mm -hmm. the hotel business in the accommodation business and also in the camping business oh I yeah a lot of tents who, were bigger yeah, yeah, yeah right did a, a lot of that mm -hmm. and uh if you are accredited to sell alcohol and also other food stuff you also had a good year so now here's a question mm -hmm. earlier when we were speaking you said that uh, you know it might be expensive to have this every other year mm -hmm. for the teams that are there yeah um how do we balance then <coughs> uh you know we are, we are realizing economic impact positively on one side now in guinea pia Mm. In a goal so here's the thing. I think for this year, it was a bittersweet type of thing for everyone. Mm. Because on one end, uh, uh, Ford and Hyundai mm -hmm. had a horrible time. Mm -hmm. They were fixing cars left, right, and center. The drivers were retiring from mm -hmm. races just because they were overturning. Like Grand um, Gas Green, for example, Yonde Likwa, the most famous of all crashes mm -hmm. on that weekend. So, and others hitting trees, which is ridiculous. Um, Oliver Turner. Is the truck bad or? Okay, of course it's brutal. But then again, the mm. other guys who had a good day like Toyota. So that's how the truck is supposed to be anyway. So, eh, so I, I, in as much as some other guys didn't have a good time vis-a-vis uh, -vis other guys, mm -hmm. there's an expense involved when it comes to repairing and pumping in money mm -hmm. um, for repairs and also bringing in the cars and all that. So... It depends on how the media will be able to frame Safari Rally. Oh, it it okay. should be framed, in my opinion, as the most toughest rally in the calendar because the other rallies aren't as brutal mm. as Safari Rally Kenya. And once you commit to coming to Safari Rally Kenya, you should know it's not about speed. It's more about endurance and surviving mm -hmm. until the end. Right. Mm. What are your memorable mem moments? Memorable <coughs> moments from this uh, WRC moments. this year? Um, Since I, you, you did attend last year, yeah? Yeah, no, no, no. Last year I didn't attend. Oh, okay. uh, it's quite a pesa, but then again. <laughs> 
bado uko na pesa lakini unaona ulienda yeah eh lakini unajua Kenya kusema una pesa it's very relative here yeah. these days yeah yeah it is actually okay. so i think for me the most memorable moment was seeing Toyota uh, locking a first place second place third place fourth place oh. and that was a repeat of their performance in 1993 in the rally of old walikuwa mm. meshikilia like they had their game on lock with the Toyota Celicas and it was nice to see them repeat the same performance so mm. it was such a big achievement considering WRC was celebrating 50 years of existing in mm-hmm. in the in the sport 50 so, years mm. how was the how was the scene uh, and also i know it's very exciting to hear the vehicles mm-hmm. uh, when i see recorded videos online but on the ground how mm-hmm. did you feel the oh they are electricity loud, loud loud they 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 are really loud mm-hmm. and this year they actually introduced the hybrid vehicles so in as much as they do have the engines they have the battery pack at the at the at the, at the boot or mm-hmm. ukonyuma mm-hmm. depending on on the car and this time they had um, a ways on how the safety officer should handle the car. If you see that it has a red light, that means there's something wrong with the hybrid system that could shock somebody, so you shouldn't touch the car at that time. Oh yeah. You should I only the, touch it when you should not even car. rescue. Mm. Um Yeah, but now yeah, Ubayani yeah. when Gus Green had an accident and rolled, mm-hmm. uh, the car was still had the green light. Mm-hmm. And unfortunately, the stewards did not act as they should have. I hear they were just recording videos. Imagine. So it was very frustrating for the drivers having to kick out the window and then uh, wajitoe mm-hmm. having been stuck in the car for three minutes. So that was quite a uh, low light mm-hmm. for uh, Nini because WRC also noted it wasn't appropriate okay. for them not to act. Of course oh, it's okay. good to learn from that mistake before yes. it gets bad. Mm-hmm. Um now maybe lastly because I'm seeing it's 9:48 in the mm-hmm. morning. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Time flies. Yeah. Um not as much as the cars of course. Mm-hmm. Um what is the difference between this round mm-hmm. or this return of the WRC mm-hmm. as the, the WRC of old? Okay. So the old WRC it was way longer. Mm-hmm. Um they were doing a, a total of three uh, about 300 plus kilometers for mm-hmm. this rally but uh Kitambo they would do even 1200 uh, 600 900 kilometers so uh, this time round it's way shorter and that's because of the new regulations that regulations <laughs> that were put in place so parallel program uh, par- par- yeah, yeah, let's go. That, yeah <laughs> that were brought in by WRC okay so the length of course um they also rest on open roads mm-hmm. which was also a plus okay. but now it's all enclosed spaces should we have so, open roads again uh i don't think so say uh, kenyan roads are full with cars so oh, yeah. i don't think it will be a good idea to have them brace again hey masubaru boys are coming so no masubaru boys are taking yeah it's going yeah, express so. we they can try it <laughs> no i think when you two eco maybe if we make a track in the along the highway or something okay. yeah, a tarmac track that would be nice okay. but um i think uh, the rally of old back behavior mm-hmm. it has its heritage that's amazing but now since it's modern we need to evolve mm-hmm. now saying it just need to like it because okay. it's it's also amazing Now is is Kenya going to make its name in racing just like in athletics do you think maybe it, it already did but unfortunately and I was seeing some of the comments on Twitter is that we haven't yet uh, brought up a culture of driving drivers mm. so we still don't have the amazing drivers when you're on to compete quad WRC at F1 yeah at F1 so F1 is a bit long way but what I can say since WRC is the only Kenya has the only track mm-hmm. or at least they may put your permission to host it for the next five years. Mm-hmm. Uh even South Africa wali jaribu na kashindwa. So for Kenya to clinch this it was it's a big deal. Yeah it's a big deal. So we should definitely bring up we should loud Akina Maxine for winning such events because now we expect them to get WRC 1 category mm-hmm. to 2 and eventually 3 mm-hmm. so that Afrika your level ya compete now with the likes of Roban Pela, Katsuka, mm-hmm. Loeb nice yeah. yeah all right mm-hmm. i think uh, we can stop it at there there's much you can speak about especially oh, yeah. for someone coming mm-hmm. when yakuenda i didn't even it has it may a point of curiosity it's, it's moved away from the interview <laughs> uh, to me being curious about that but if you missed any of it uh, make sure you check out f- uh, videos online articles are going to be written and also see how you can plug in next year when the wrc returns for another series final words captain manu as we wrap up the show mm, uh, i think um I'm excited in way when you're in terms of the safari rally mm-hmm. and I can't wait to see the next edition. 
Uh, yeah, imagine I don't have any other Kartek, Nothing on Kartek that you saw that uh, you feel will be helpful for the rest of us. Uh, oh, uh, also, when Safari Rally <laughs> was being held over the weekend, there was another event that was being held in Europe. It was called the Festival Festival of Speed. Mm -hmm. And that's when manufacturers want to peleka their cars to a track, mm -hmm. a well-known track, and then they flex mm -hmm. on how fast they can be able to move from point A to point B. So we saw amazing sports cars that are lined up, Bugattis. So, yeah, we'll bring you more information about that. You've mentioned uh, speed uh, mm -hmm. at the rally. What was the top speed or what speed were um, they driving at? I believe one of the Hyundai's made a top speed of 190 kilometers per hour so Ooh, mm, okay imagine, yeah. must be electric to be in there yeah, yeah all right it is. that is it on uh, wrc and the economic impact in kenya of course uh, we'll be giving you more information as we go on even as the government and the county government in Akuru releases the numbers on uh, what it looked like in terms of what the vendors made what the hoteliers made as well uh, but in sure you're following at KUTV Kenya for the rest of the broadcasting bulletins and all the programs. Remember, I've been here since uh, 7 in the morning. So thank you guys for tuning in and being very patient to, with me all the way to the end. We've had a lot of conversations this morning, uh, jam-packed, of course, uh, with uh, much more on the world of uh, business with guys who are doing poultry farming or sensitizing on healthier hands. So you can check out Healthier Hands organization uh, who are doing that uh, you know, sensitization on what we can move away from the cage system of poultry farming. Eggs and poultry products which have been uh, bred through cage system are not being allowed all over Europe and also Kenya, Tanzania, Uganda are also banning uh, some of those products. So you need to be aware if you're getting into that kind of business. Co Academy were also here, uh, courtesy of uh, uh, Mr. Noah Miller and Dr. Rosa Ko, who are from the Sochin Research uh, Institute or Sochin Agency, which has also signed an MOU with, the, with Kenyatta University as well uh, in matters of research, academia, and also data that is very helpful towards, uh, you know, ensuring that we're getting a curriculum that is well, um, that is competency-based and giving you skills to be used out there. And also, Finally, we did have a conversation with Soko Analyst, uh, matters of COVID-19 effects on the youth. So you can check that out if you missed it. And you can see his uh, directory as well, Soko Directory. Um, he has, I think, 300,000 followers on Twitter. So that should uh, say something about his reputation uh, in terms of the information that he's uh, putting out there in matters of business. Captain Manu just wrapped it up with us on WRC and what went down. If you did go there, uh, Pio Tuambie, kwa sababu alikuwa uko, yeah, that is his side. Lakini kuna yule alibiwa, kanyanganya gari, kanyanganya bibi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Kanyanganya bibi, so Tuambie, we'll be able to see that. But remember to tune in to the rest of KUTV Rise today. Kesho, you have Nina Gikunda on WCW Thursday, TBT, or John Mariam, Makala Throwback Thursday. I think I actually saw one last feedback from Mujong Mariam, uh, where he's saying that shortcuts will only give you a good life for one year, then you are dead. Good things take time. Watch any baby he come my take home point. Asante sana, mtoto wa Mariam. Catch him on Thursday morning, and then on Friday, you can come back with uh, Emperor Shaker on entertainment. Team Weekendi taking you through the weekend, and then we're back on another cycle here on Beer Shara Tuesday uh, after Art and Cancer Monday with current Blessing. This is the second half, first day of the second half of the year. All the best in all your endeavors, financial goals, re-strategizing as we go on in the next 178 days. I will not fail to count, but until then, meet me next week on Tuesday. If you want breakfast in bed, sleep in the kitchen. <laughs>